Hi everyone, I'm VTuber. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to generate your own AI anime images. We're going to be using Google Collab. I'm a big fan of Google Collab because we are not going to be generating locally using our own resources. We will be using Google's GPU. This means that we can use this method even if you have an old laptop or an Apple computer or even a mobile device. So the first thing that you're going to do is open this Google Collab notebook. There should be a link in the description below. We're gonna to go to File and save a copy in Drive. A tab should automatically open and we can get started. So first we wanna connect this notebook to our Google Drive. So we're gonna hit play on this first box. So now we're going to have to grant uh, Google permission so you're gonna have to go through these pop-ups. If you're concerned about privacy, you might wanna use this on you know, an alternate account, um, but we're just gonna click through allow so we can use this. All right, we're good to go. So we're just gonna go down these boxes and now we're going to install automatic 1111. So next, we are going to make sure we have all of our requirements. Okay, so now we have our text that says done proceed. So that means we have to figure out what model we're going to use. I prefer to download my models and keep them in Google Drive. I think that's the easiest way. Right now, I think the most popular anime model is anything version three or V3. Um, I'm also really enjoying using one that is a mix called Proto Thing 200. So what we're going to do is go to our Google Drive we're going to right click and hit new folder. And then you're going to put your downloaded models in there. I've already done that so you don't have to sit through everything. So now we are going to let Google know where our model is. So we're gonna to go to table of contents, files, it's in our Google Drive, in my drive, and it's in that folder called models. So I'm going to copy path and put that in path to model. And we hit run. All right, it now knows where our model is so we can finally start stable diffusion. Okay, so now um, we can see that we have a URL for the web UI. We're going to click that and we now have our stable diffusion interface, that automatic 111 interface. If we want to run uh, this for anime images, we're going to have to tweak a few settings. So we're going to go into settings. First, uh, we are going to click the stable diffusion. Um, if you want to use a VAE, we are going to go into our Google Drive. We are going to go into this new folder called SD. We're going to go to Stable Diffusion, Web UI. We are now going to go into Models, and finally, VAE. So from here, we're going to upload this. Um, you're going to want to use the VAE that came with your model, or whatever was recommended. This might take a minute to load, so let's keep going. All right. So first thing we're going to want to do is change this clip skip to two. All right, and now we are going to apply settings. Next, we are going to go to sample parameters. And here, we are going to change this ETA noise C delta to 31337. And again, we're going to, going to apply settings. Next, you don't need them, but I prefer some extensions. So we are going to go to available and we're gonna load from these extensions. One of my favorite extensions is Buru Tag Auto Completion. So we can see this one right here and we are going to hit install. So what this does is if we start typing a tag, it will automatically complete for us uh, what that tag is. So now when we go to our installed tab, we should see that right here. 
So to make sure that this um, is good to go, we are going to apply and restart the UI. So when you hit restart, you may be redirected to a new URL. So we'll want to check our notebook and we can see that we have a new one. So now we're going to go to our new restarted link. My VAE is uploaded. So in the settings tab, I'm gonna to go to the stable diffusion section and we can see that we have a drop down menu and I'm going to hit anything V3 VAE and I'm going to apply settings. Even though I'm not using the anything V3 model right now, which we can see up here, um, this Proto Thing 200 was created from anything V3 and the creator has told us that this VAE is what we should use. So now we are done and we should be able to generate our anime images. I'm going to turn my steps up to 30 I don't have a personal preference for sampling method. Once you get to about 30 steps, all of the non-ancestral sampling methods will basically produce the same image. The ancestral sampling methods diffuse the noise slightly differently, and so they kind of change with each iteration, which is why they're called ancestral. For the demonstration, I'm just going to leave this at 512 pixels. You're never going to want to set your pixels below 512, but you may want to set them higher. If you want a particularly large image, I highly recommend using this high res fix option at the bottom. The lower your CFG scale is, the more freedom the AI has. But the higher your CFG scale is, the more the AI is going to try to stick to your prompt assuming it understands what your prompt means. But keep in mind that the higher your CFG scale is, the more likely you are to get distortions or noise and artifacts that kind of give your image that deep fried meme look. I personally wouldn't ever go above like a 14 or 15 uh, CFG scale for my images. Um, you can kind of combat some of that distortion uh, by increasing your number of sampling steps. We can also change our batch size. That's how many images I want to generate um, at once. So for now, I'm just gonna stick with one because I want this to be a quick demonstration. We can also change the seed. The seed is the starting noise that we're going to have. So if you want to reproduce the same exact image, um, maybe just making tiny tweaks, you're gonna to wanna to keep the same seed. If you just wanna make any image at all, we'll just keep it as that negative one because that tells it, give me a random seed. So first I'm just gonna put in some default negative prompts. We're going to start, we wanna make one girl and you can see that our extension is working. That has already popped up. I also really like this because it tells me that Buru has had this tagged 4.1 million times. So it's probably gonna do a really good job of understanding what I'm asking for. Let's do something that the AI is going to know really well. Let's do Miku. So I typed in Miku and I can see that Hatsune Miku has been tagged on Andanburu for 78,000 times. So it's probably going to be very familiar. Let's put her at the beach. So I'm just going to say beach. And now I'm ready. I'm going to generate. Okay. So now, as you can see, we have Hatsune Miku at the beach. So everything worked. We're all good to go. One last thing. Once you are done uh, generating your images, you're going to want to go back to your collab notebook. You're going to go to runtime, and then we are going to disconnect and delete runtime. We're going to say yes. So you're going to want to disconnect your runtime after you're done. Google um, does not have unlimited resources, so since we're using this for free, we only have a finite amount each day. Okay, everyone, um, that is all that I have for you today. I hope that this helps you get started on generating some images and that you have fun. So um, I hope to see you next time. Bye.
What is this? <laughs> huh? <laughs> is this? Who is a boy? <laughs> what are these? What are these boys? Is it DiCaprio? <laughs> it looks like it. Why is he I don't know. It must have been part of like the testing thing. Okay, whatever. Cut, cut, cut this out. Look, my arm's wacky anyway. <laughs>